Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Today the different religions are highly respected. They all express man's quest of transcendence, of the great beyond, of the everlasting realities. And yet in Christianity, plunging its root in Judaism, this phenomenon is the other way round. It is God who is in quest of man. As St. John Paul II reminded us, God wants to get closer to man. God wants to address him his words, to show him his face, for he is seeking closeness with him. This becomes a reality with the people of Israel, people chosen by God to receive his words. This is Moses' own experience when he says, For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? And even then the psalmist says, He proclaims his word to Jacob, his statutes and laws to Israel. Therefore, Jesus with his presence abides by God's wish to get closer to man. This is why he says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. He comes to enrich us, to enlighten us, so that men come to know God's true face and may enter in closeness with Him. In this way, to ignore God's suggestions, no matter how insignificant, involves a very paltry knowledge of God that in turn involves being considered as small in the kingdom of heaven. Saint Theophilus of Antioch said, For God is seen by those who are unable to see Him when they have the eyes of their soul opened. For all have eyes, but in some they are overspread and do not see the light of the sun. In our prayer we are aiming to faithfully follow the indications of our Lord, thus we shall have a greater closeness with Him, and therefore we shall be considered big in the kingdom of heaven.